welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green and I will be doing the show today. So today I will be taking callers, answering their questions, and helping them connect to loved ones on the other side. Um, when I call your area code, please have a very specific question ready and a or a very specific connection, meaning like, you know, Judy, my mom, Bill, my uncle. And then if you have any questions um, or conversations you want for that connection, please let me know right away. Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody joining me in on YouTube. If you want to join in on YouTube and watch the show live, you can just go to YouTube and um, you can chat with everybody in the YouTube chat. If you want to call in and ask a question or connect with somebody on the other side, the number is 845-277-9131. Now, I go live at least twice a week, every Monday and Wednesday at noon. I do try to do pop-up shows like unscheduled shows when I have extra time. It just seems like I never have extra time lately. Um, so, but do subscribe because if I do a pop-up show, then you'll be notified if I come on like uh, last minute if I have some extra time, okay? Uh, let's see what else. Oh, okay. So everybody, my friend uh, Amy sent me a thing this morning for student midwifery, wifery, not wifery. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be whiffing people. No, student uh, midwifery scholarship. So if you are interested in becoming a midwife, please screenshot this or uh, do whatever you need to do. There we go. Okay. And then the other thing is my nieces are running a, oh my goodness, 5K, a 5K in Pewaukee called the Superhero Stomp. And yep, I am going to announce this every single show until the day of the race. And then you'll have to hear all about how the race was. <laughs> That's just the way it's going to work right now. Um, so here is the actual, oh, that went, that didn't go right. That didn't do what I wanted it to do, but it's pulling up the website. Um, uh, la, 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 let me go back here. Let me go here. Let me do that. Okay, so the superhero stomp is raceentry.com. So I'm going to cover a little bit of this up so you guys can see that part of it. I know. Look at that reflection. You can take a picture of that or just go to raceentry.com. Um, racecentry.com and then it should say superhero stomp you can make donations there you can sign up for the race there um there's a race for children so if you have younger ones nieces nephews children that that want to do the race they can dress up like their favorite superhero and come out and run a much much shorter race and then um if you want to donate, you can do that either for the raffle or just donate. There was something else. Oh, adults can dress like superheroes too. And all of the proceeds go um, directly to the families with children that have cancer. Okay, having said all of that, we already started a clearing for dun 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 dun. dun. Um, self-doubt. So we have self-doubt. I get a yes. We're going to do another clearing on that. And that one kind of takes my breath away a little bit. I want to say hi to Patrick, Caroline, 
Caroline, uh, Frankie, thank you for joining us. Heather, and I know there are other people in here that I've said hi to this morning. I'm having to go really far back. Um, if I forgot, if I missed your name, Fawn, thank you. If I missed your name, I do apologize. And if you are on YouTube, please say hello. If you want an appointment with me, um, I do private appointments. The only way to get an appointment with me is through my website, T-O-N-I-G.I-N-F-O, TonyG.info. And now let's get started with the show. The first, we're going to go to the very first caller. The very first caller is 205. 205, how are you today? Hi, Tony. Let me take you off of speaker. Thank um, you so much. What's your can name? Can you hear me, Tony? I can. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Patricia. I'm calling from Alabama. And first, I'd like to tell you, Tony, how you were just on the money when you gave me my message about, I want to say it's been a week and a half ago, um, because I've been on this job about that long, and you told me to go in, um, you know, like just kind of working by myself, not, um, jo you know, um, um, getting involved in any type of group or linking up with different people, befriending them, thinking they are my friend. And, you know, it's a lot of, they're doing a lot of getting rid of toxic people, bringing them in. Oh, my God. I mean, as soon as I got, I, you know, got to the job, you told me to leave a little early, early. I got there. That's the first thing. The first person I met who trained me was talking about don't listen it is and it's been going on the whole time that I've been there and some of the things that you also told me that you're gonna see just don't say anything you know it may affect you they already know what's going on oh my god some of the things I've seen that I want to say are you really doing that yeah are you did you just really say that Common sense is not common, my yeah. love. Common sense is not common. Uh -huh. <laughs> people have no clue. They, <laughs> you know, people act a fool for the longest time, and then they go, "What? What? 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 But this is how I've always been." Yeah, that's the problem. This is how you've always been. You know, you don't even realize this is how you are, and it's not right. So I'm so grateful that those messages were helpful for you. Now, don't. Let me tell you something. I'm going to like follow up everything I told you. Do not feed into the toxicity of this. They are like sh um, shuffling people out. They're, they're circulating people out as they can, um, as they bring new people mm -hmm. in. So just keep it, keep it clean. Keep it like the statement I'm hearing is keep it clean and keep it pushing but don't get involved with anyone. Like, here's my thing. We don't go to work to make a best friend. We don't. We just don't. We're, right. we're not at work, to, like, trying to make friends. We're at work to do a job. They're not paying us to talk. They're, they're just paying us to work. So go in, do your job, keep it clean, keep your, your circle tight, and keep going. So uh, thank you for all of those confirmations. I'm so grateful for them. That's very kind of you. Did you have a question or something that you wanted to ask about today? Yes. Yes, go ahead. Yes, Tony, real quick here. Um, I, um, um, here in Alabama, we do deal, deal with a lot of, uh, well, um, um, wind, hail, storms, um, and um, around the 30th, 31st of March, I managed to get a lot of that type of uh, damage to my roof and my privacy defense and just um, um, other places uh, here at my home. And so I've been with my insurance, homeowner's insurance, for about nine years. I've never filed a claim. I just filed a claim uh, with them. Now, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of resistance 
to the point where they have denied the claim um, after my contractor submitted pictures and uh, explanations and all of this stuff they denied. So I've appealed. And uh, I want to know what do you see uh, as far as the outcome? Uh, I just was not expecting this from them. And truthfully, I am just uh, really, you know, frustrated here. Okay. And I'm going through this. I feel like they are going to cover your claim. It's good. It is going to be frustrating and it is going to take a minute for them to do it. I do feel like you have to go to what I'm hearing up the chain. I don't know if that means like if you're submitting this to this, this particular, like you're just randomly submitting it to the insurance company, you might have to like just make sure it gets pushed up the chain a bit. Don't get frustrated. I'm gonna do a special clearing. Her claim will be covered. I get a yes, we're gonna strengthen that. Um, it's gonna go through easy. I get a no, let's clear that. So to make sure everything goes through easy and smooth. I am getting that they are, um, they had quite a few claims out of this one. And your contractor or the person that uh, filled everything out might have to change one or two things. I would have somebody from your insurance company see if they'll come out and take a look at it. Also, eventually, they're going to have to anyway. So I do feel like they are going to take care of it. It's going to take a bit of a minute. And it's going to be a little bit of a hoopla hoopla, hoopla, or a little bit of back and forth that you're going to have to jump through one or two hoops to get them to cover. To see what, what insurance companies do sometimes, not all insurance companies, but some insurance companies, what they'll do is if you, if they, if you submit a claim and they deny it, 50% of the people or a certain percent of the people will not appeal it. They'll just take care of whatever it is on their own. So if you appeal or you keep, you uh, resend it in, then they'll look at it again. Um, I do feel like they will take care of this. It's just going to take a moment to get them to do it. Okay, love? So be patient. Okay. And okay. Do, uh, should I involve a public adjuster? I actually, I hear a yes on that. I hear a yes Thank on you. that. I do hear a yes on that. I did. I was like, like what? What public adjuster? But as I was asking that question, I heard yes. So it doesn't really matter if I know what that is. Uh, they're like, they're just saying yes. Get one involved, okay? Thank you. I love you, Tony, so oh. much. Oh my God, you are the true blessing. Earth Angel, you are so special to us. Thank you so much. Um, I look forward to hearing from you again. Oh, uh, many blessings. I'm so grateful that I was helpful for you, and I'm so grateful. And I love you too, sweetie, and I can't wait to talk with you again, okay? Okay. Have Thank an, you, Tony. You're Bye -bye. welcome. Have an amazing rest of the week. I am going to go to caller 610. 610, what's your first name and where are you calling from? Hello, 610. Okay, we're going to put 610 back on hold. While we do that, I want to say hi to Sal and... Um, Breezy Ray and Love Life. Hi, guys. How are you? If you want to ask a question, you can call in 845-277-9131 or type it into the chat. If I can get to it, I absolutely will. I'm going to go to 630. 630, what's your first name and where are you calling from? My name is Lisa. And I talked to you a while ago. You seem like you're really um, like on target with things like the lady said before Thank me. You. I really kind of appreciate that. I feel kind of 
confident when I talk to you. <laughs> Thank you. I would love to take credit, but it's really the angels coming through and giving you guys the messages that you need. So how can I help you, love? Well, my question is this. You had said um, to move like later this year, you saw that happening and the market's going to improve a little bit for me and that something really good's going to come up. And in the meantime, I couldn't anyway because I had a rough problem where I had a leak. I don't know if you remember, I talked to you about a while ago and you said it was going to get fixed. But um, I was wondering what you see for the timing on it. So the condo association is going to pay for that and get it done. And then they're going to pay, of course, for the, um, you know, I got to get like the ceiling, um, you know, just worked on and then repainted. It's not like major, but, you know, I mean, you could never sell with it. So I just wondered, like she said, I talked to her about three weeks ago, it was finally getting warmer here in the Midwest. It had to be at least 50 because they did some <clears throat> like regular repairs but needed to do the uh, wood decking uh, when the weather's 50 after the winter. So it happened like November right before winter, so I had to wait. So now that the weather's getting better, um, you know, she said it will get done, but she hasn't set a date. So I wanted to call very nicely in about a week after now that'll be a month and just had really like a date set because I had a little bit of like, you know, the leak like spread a little bit. I mean, I just got to get this taken care of so then I can even like look and be confident that I can buy something first before I sell. And I just wondered what you see with that because she said it would be done, you know. Okay, so in, in here's spring, what I'm getting you know, after early spring, but I, Here's what I'm getting. I'm getting that um, rather than call, email, send something written that you can keep a copy of. <clears throat> so you have like the, you know, the, uh, mm, the, not the proof, but like you have the records of, 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 of sending it in. And I do hear that this is going to happen. Like the, the work might be done in August, September. Now I feel like they're going to start moving on it sooner than that. And you'll hear something mid July ish. Um, I do feel like they are between now and then going to be possibly getting estimates and and talking to people to get this done. I well, they do, got the, but they already got it. They got the proposal from okay from the roofing company that they use. It's so, I do. I don't. I don't know why I'm hearing August September, but whatever is. Whatever August, pay attention to August, September, okay? Um, just pay attention to August, September. I feel like something is going to be coming through August, September that is going to help out with everything you're going through. Maybe that's when the job is done. I'm not really sure. I do feel like this. Oh, that's interesting because I have to wait a month after it's done to make sure there's no more rain, like six weeks, like to get a few rains and just to make sure that it's completed properly. Absolutely. So that's interesting. So it could actually be done sooner, but then the ceiling to be painted might have to wait a little bit to get somebody. And do you think that could be it? It could be. We'll have to wait and see how everything goes between now and then. And, you know, I do, I do hear August, September, whether that's the start when they actually start to do the job or the job is completely finished, I'm not sure. I do wish you the best of luck with it. And thank you so much for calling in. I am going to go to the next caller who is 251. 251, how are you today? Hi, Tony. It's Laura again from Alabama, girlfriend. Hey, Laura. How are you? I'm good. How can I help you, love? Okay, this is just foolishness. I was going to see, now listen, I've, I've left two husbands, the last one, it's been a while, I've given up. Have you? Do you see anybody coming along in my future? Am I just being too picky? Yeah, okay, so <laughs> I... Because <laughs> I might going to die or something. If somebody's coming in, I, I better get my diet. If not, I can just keep on eating. Oh, gosh. Okay, so the right person <laughs> won't care what size you are. You know, like we as women think... Men care about A, B, and C. What well, some men do, but they those just might not be the right men. I'm just saying, like if a man is more concerned gotcha. with your body than your character, he just might not be the right man. Um, 
What I'm going to tell you, sweetie, is yes, I do see someone coming down, coming, coming down. I do see, well, maybe he is coming from an area that is south of you. Um, I do see somebody coming in. Um, I do feel like this person is there, there are, there's a potential for a really good relationship between the two of you. One of the things I'm hearing is you kind of have to let your guard down. Um, you have to be in that space where you're ready to be, um, a little bit more vulnerable than you've been in the past. So what they're asking, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm pretty you, guarded. Yes, yes, yes. They're asking you to take your time. And I feel like this person, again, I do hear. Okay, this is weird because I'm hearing three different months when I ask about this person. And this, I could be hearing three different months because it could be, um, this is when the person could come in this month, this month, or this month, or um, uh, this is when you meet and this is when things take off. So I do feel like I hear July the strongest out of everything, but there's the potential that this might happen a little sooner in June. If it does happen in June, it might be near the end of June and there might be just a quick conversation in June and then everything takes off in July, mid-July I'm hearing, and then into August. Now, I am going to tell you that with this person, this person is serious. They're not playing games. They're ready for a full-on adult relationship. That means, you know, we have to be, if we're going to be uh, in that place, if you're thinking about this and you're saying, okay, I'm ready, you need to be ready for that full on adult relationship. No game playing, no like, well, let's just see where this goes. Let's see how much I can get away with. None of that can go on with this person because they are ready and they're not going to, um, they're really not going to play around. Okay. Sometimes in life, we're gotcha. just ready to take that step. And if the other person, it can be the perfect person, but if they're not ready to take that step, we're going to move on to the next person who's ready to move forward with us. I do feel like this person is ready to move forward. That doesn't, now, I want to be clear about this for you and all of my women listening. Let a man be a man, okay? Just because we know okay. the man is ready or if we feel like the man isn't ready or if we know the man's not ready, it's not our job to make that man ready. And I'm really, I've been guilty of this in the past where I, like if I just do this or if we just say that and they're going to see and they're going to, I, no, mm, no, we have to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. We have to be in that place where if a man is ready, He's going to show us and he is going to lead us down that road rather than us thinking it's our job to like uh, convince them or if we can just show up as this person or that person. If a man really wants a relationship, they're going to make those power moves to show you. Um, now, just because this man is ready for a relationship in the next step of the relationship, don't go gung-ho. Don't be like, this is the guy. He's ready. I'm going to start mm -hmm. A, B, and C. Nope. Let them take the reins. Let them push the horse. Let them do everything they need to do. And you um, get to know him. That's basically all you're supposed to do in this situation is get to know this person. Allow yourself to be in that space where you are getting to know this person. Um, and he, I feel like this right. is a good person. I feel like this will be a good connection. I do feel like from the beginning, you do need to know what you want because, you know, it's not fair to us or them when somebody changes what they want mid-game. Um, you can't go from baseball to football in the middle of the third right. like inning, whatever they're called. You can't go, okay, now I want to do this. You have to be consistent from beginning to end, right. both people. But I do feel like if you are ready, this is going to be a huge possibility for you and you will be very, very happy with it. Okay, love? 
Thank you so much, darling. All right. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. My pleasure. You have an amazing rest of the week. And I look forward to talking with you again. I do. I'm going to go to caller 805. 805, how are you today? Oh, hi, Tony. It's Dawn in California. How are you? I'm good. How can I help you today? <laughs> You're always great. Uh, yeah, I wanted to know about my love life. It's been such a long time, and I just haven't had any luck with any of that. And I wanted to know what you were thinking, what you're picking up, please. Okay. I, and I know we've been really under restriction and it's been a little bit difficult. Stay offline. Don't go, don't do anything online, like online dating, no. or any of that stuff. Don't do that. That's no. not going to be it. I do feel like you're going no, to I meet did. somebody this summer. I feel like it might be near August. I feel like it's going to be okay. at an outdoor type of, I almost want to say event, but it's really not an event. It's like a, um, oh, what do we call those things where people go get produce and, and a uh, farmer's market, a farmer's market. It might be at some sort of farmer's market sort of thing. It might be at, at something like that. But I do see, I see this being an area where people are selling things but there are also like restaurants and pubs there. Now, where, whatever that is, it could, I don't feel like it's like, no, it's not that. It's not like Venice Beach, but it, it is a, an area where like maybe there are some little like markets type things and then restaurants also, but there's a lot of outdoor seating. And I just feel like you have the potential to meet somebody at something like that. And it's going to be a, a rather good connection. Now, I do, this is really weird, and I, I'm going to be a little bit specific here. And I don't always like to be specific because it can be, um, it, it, if, if I'm t sometimes if I'm too specific, people will say, well, I didn't see this. So it wasn't the one for some now either this person or someone else. I see somebody walking like a little dog. <laughs> I don't, it might not be this person, but if you're out and about and you see somebody walking this like little dog, like pay attention to who's around you and who's check like looking at you again i feel like this is around the august time it could be a little sooner in july depending on how things go but i do feel like that august time is going to be a really good time for you to meet this person i'm going to do a clearing for you everybody listening everybody re-listening we're going to yeah. do a clearing on um you know we are ready for a healthy loving relationship i get a yes I'm going to get everything stopping or blocking us from a healthy, loving relationship has cleared. I, I get a no, so we're going to clear that. Whew. So anything that is stopping us or blocking us from being in that place where we meet a good person for a healthy, loving relationship has cleared, I get a no. We're going to clear that also. Thank you, everybody, for listening, watching, re-listening re-watching. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you. I, if you did not get through today, call back on Monday or next Wednesday. I am here every Monday and Wednesday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes. I try to do an hour. I will always do an hour if I can. Thank you for all everybody who put in all of the uh, clearing requests. Thank you so much. And have an absolutely amazing rest of the day.